Hey Gromies, HGZ here, and if you're watching this video, you just may learn something new today. Yeah, baby, welcome back, guys. I got something really special for you guys today. I've been getting a lot of uh, requests on how I mix my nutrients. Um, I know some of you guys are struggling out there, but uh, I'm going to show you how I do it here in the zone, and I just try to keep it as simple as possible. We're not all... Uh, botanicist or botanist or whatever some of these homie gromies out there you know seem to think they are but here in the zone we just like to grow and we like to keep it simple and i'm going to show you guys how i do it here in the zone with excellent results but first you're going to need the basic tools now if you guys don't have the basic tools i i suggest you go out and get them because you're really not going to have that much of a successful grow without them so, you know, you just have to have the basic necessities, okay? Let's start off here. Let's start off with our pH test right here. You need a digital pH tester. You cannot rely on those um, drops. They are way off. They can be, if, if you can read a uh, on their color chart and it looks like it's at, say, 6.0, in reality, it's 7.0, which can do a lot of damage to your plants. So do not rely on those pH drops. They are way off. They don't even put you in the same ballpark. You know, they don't even, it, you get an idea where it is, but that's it. It's all guesswork. Anyway, second thing to have, measuring spoon. When you're mixing nutrients, this is very, very important. This is a one teaspoon, five milliliters measuring spoon, and that's level. Not the teaspoon that's in your, uh, in your kitchen okay that's not a measuring spoon this is a measuring spoon here teaspoon teaspoon in the uh, kitchen is like twice as much literally uh, next thing you need if you're using tap water like I do you're gonna need a dechlorinator I use this one here for ponds and uh, it's literally one ounce for a thousand gallons of water all I add is about four drops to about five six gallons of water and it's done it takes care of it but that's if you use um, tap water which I use here um, next thing you're gonna need is pH up pH down or pH up this right here is my pH down I put it in this container because I buy it by the gallons and I keep it in that little container there next thing you're gonna need the most important thing are nutrients now especially if you're growing hydroponics guy you got to get hydroponic nutrients. It's got to say hydroponics. If it doesn't say hydroponics, do not buy it. A lot of, lot of people out there, you know, they buy the regular raw nutrients and they're trying to grow hydro. And uh, they wonder why they fail. So it's because they're not made for hydro. Um, this nutri hydroponic nutrients can, and can be used when you're growing in soil. So this is for you soil guys too, okay? And this is this daily feeding. My new, my plants will be sitting in these nutrients 24 hours a day feeding. And you're not going to get any leaf burn or anything. But when you grow in soil, the nutrients get absorbed by the soil. And it rain, mean, maintains a lot of the nutrients. So if you do use it to water your plants, and that's with any nutrient out there, Got to make sure in between waterings, you got to use regular pH correct water to uh, help flush out some of those nutrients that your uh, soils are, are absorbing. But hydronutrients are, is, is very one of the very few nutrients you can use in soil. You cannot use soil nutrients in hydro though. So keep that in mind everybody, okay? So let me just get started. I want to try to make this quick, okay? So today we're going to start off with the, uh, the micro lift, okay? And all I need is like two drops. So we're going to go two or three drops. One or two or three. That's fine. That's all you need. That's why I love this uh, Gromies. This stuff I had for about two years already last a long way and it's good for fish it's good for me second thing we're going to do is mix it get it nice and mixed yeah mix it up there we go all right next thing 
Any volunteers here? There we go. Time for our nutrients. See how easy that was? And today we're using the Fox Farm Big Grow 326. And we're coming in at two teaspoons per gallon. Okay, because the plants we, we are putting using this for are a little bit small. And uh, as they get bigger, you can go into three teaspoons per gallon. But I wouldn't go any higher for that for uh, hydroponics. If you're growing tomatoes, cucumbers, or whatever, yes. If you're growing herbs like we're growing, no way, because you will burn them. So we got four gallons of water in here, so I'm going to go two per gallon, so that's eight, te eight teaspoons, level teaspoons. That's one, oops, a little bit slipped, two, three, four, oops, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight teaspoons. And that's, um, we're going to mix that up. Stuff is pretty clear, so you can't even see it. Okay. Mix it up nice, because next what we're going to do, and the most important thing, actually everything is pretty much important if you want to be successful, but you just got to have the right tools. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do right here is we're going to check for the pH. It's very important. Your plants cannot absorb nutrients if the plant the pH is too high or too low. So we're going to correct that right now. We're going to see what we got going. This may come in high. Okay. I don't know if Garomis can see that right there. She's at 6.41, 6.40, 6.41, okay? I want to get it around 6.0 or 5.9, 5.8, somewhere around there. But uh, we're at 6.4, so we're going to have to lower that, okay? What we got here is the pH down. And I'm just going to add a little bit. I don't need to drop it that much. And this is probably about a half a teaspoon. This stuff, this pH down, guys, if you're using, um, if you're growing hydroponics, I strongly recommend do not use the pH down for uh, Fox Farm pH down. Use the General Hydroponics pH down. Okay, the Fox Farm pH down will not maintain that pH no longer than 10 minutes. And then it'll start rising right back again. So we're going to mix that up. And we're going to take another reading. And see what we got. But only add a little bit at a time. I'm using a lot of water here. So if you guys are mixing nutrients. Some of you guys, especially for soil, you won't be mixing this amount. Five gallons, you'd be using one gallon, so there you got to be careful. I would recommend using a dropper. The less water you use, probably, I would recommend using a dropper to apply the pH down. Anyway, let's go in again. Three, two, one, in we're going. Down and down we go. Where it's going to stop, I don't know. What do you think it's going to stop, guys? Six, two, one. Oh, here it goes. Oh, it's slowing down. 6.17, 6.16. Come on, it still needs to go down just a touch more. Now, your plants will do fine on that, but you know, they are going to rise naturally as it absorbs the nutrients. So, let's get it down to 6.0. A little bit more is going to do it, and that's it. Yeah, about a quarter. You know what? Let me give it just a tad more. Okay, that should do it. Okay, guys, you think I got it? What do you think it's going to be? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> you got to pause the video before you leave it in the comments. <laughs> I've only did it. Oh, man. Nothing but fun here in the zone sometimes. Okay, let's see what we got here. Put my little handy-dandy pH detector. 
Okay, we're dropping. Yeah, there we go, gummies. Let's see. Stop, stop right there. Don't go to... Damn! Almost got it. <laughs> okay. I'm two, three tenths off. Can't beat that. But that's perfectly fine. I'm within my parameters. And uh, well, that's it, guys. That's how we do it. Now, if you're growing hydroponics, always remember to check your pH the following day because it, 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 it um, as everything settles in here, every, you know, everything needs to settle down. So chances are it may rise a little bit. Just adjust it the next day and you're gonna be fine. If you're growing in soil, you don't have to worry about that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it was a little informative. I try to keep it as simple as possible here and that's all you have to do. But again, Gromies, if you want to be successful, you got to have the right tools, okay? If you don't have these basic things here, I suggest, you know, you get them before you really go move forward in a grow and growing a lot of plants. Hey, Gromies, I'm HTZ, and I'm out of here.